Hey guys, uh, real quick before we get into this video, I just wanted to to kind of tell you guys something that happened at the auction, which is the ending part of this video. Um, something pretty touching happened, and usually the auctions are all just kind of like drunk madness, but this one had something really cool that happened. There's this guy, Matt De La Rosa. He's from San Antonio, Texas, and his dad has inoperable cancer. I can't remember exactly where it was. There was a couple items put up for auction that were gonna benefit Matt's family directly. Um, there was gonna be no like middleman, no fees taken out. It was just all PayPal directly to Matt. And what the reptile community did is insane. We raised a ton of money selling like two or three things. One of the snakes sold for like $2,000 and then a whole bunch of people mashed that $2,000. That all went directly to Matt's PayPal or Matt's mom's PayPal. So any money that I make from this video is gonna be going directly to Matt's mom, directly via PayPal. And if you guys would like to donate um, just to help out their family in this super awesome time, Matt was a really great guy. I got to know him at the auction. I'm gonna put the very first link down in the description and in the pinned comment is gonna be the email address for his mom's PayPal. If you guys would like to make a donation, you're more than welcome to. You don't have to whatsoever, but uh, I, I would really like this video. You know, I, I don't have any crazy view videos. If there's anyone that I want to blow up, it's gonna be this one just so I can make a decent amount of money from it and uh, give it give it all to them. So I just wanted to tell you guys that before actually starting the video. I mean, if you know anyone in your family or your friends that have been affected by cancer, it, it sucks. It can wear on your whole entire family. Um, but yeah, honestly, what happened at the auction, it just, it really kind of like hit home with me that all of these people who may not know Matt personally pitched in to try to help him and his family. And uh, it, it really resonated with me. And it was, I thought it was really cool that the reptile community did that. So that's why, again, I want to donate all of this money. And then if you can, you know, even five bucks, a dollar, whatever, anything will help them out. So like I said, the first link in the description. Um, but without further ado, let's get into the video. I do hope you guys enjoy the 2020 NARBC Arlington Reptile Show. What is going on, guys? Andy Gabs back for another video. And today we are finally heading to the Arlington Reptile Show in Arlington, Texas. I am with a couple of my buddies. You can see him driving and then that dude in the back seat. But we are heading to the Arlington Reptile Show. We have been on the road for about four hours now. We have three hours left. For some reason, we decided to drive. I blame that guy for inviting me to drive. Uh, I'll also link his Instagram down in the description. Uh, you guys can follow all of us. I'm sure we'll have a lot of cool content from NARBC Arlington. Going to be a great time. I think we might be meeting up with Cusco or Brian Cusco tonight to have some kind of uh, pre-show drinks. And then tomorrow we all have VIP passes, so we will be going into the show at 7.30 in the morning, get a first look at all the animals and see if there's anything good. For now, we are just on the road. I will bring you guys back once we get to Arlington. So it's pretty cool. This is our hotel right there. Our room is actually the uh, 10th story in that building. And then literally right next door is this like, I don't even know how you explain it. Like maybe a mall, but for bars and clubs. Super cool. There's probably 10 different bars in here. Uh, right now we're at the PBR bar, which is like professional bull race riding, professional bull riding, something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, let's go check out what the VIP table there looks like. So as you guys can see, it's getting a little bit crazy here. Uh, probably just gonna have a couple more drinks. Probably just gonna have a couple more drinks and head back to the hotel. It's already like 11.30 and um, I have to film all day tomorrow. These other guys don't have to do anything. So I gotta get ready to film, get all my camera stuff set up. So probably just a couple more drinks and then we'll head back to the hotel, but I'll bring you guys back in the morning. All right, y'all, well, after a very long night, uh, we did not get quite as early of a start as we would have liked to. Uh, I think we were gonna try to get here at 7.30, and it's like nine-ish right now, but we didn't go to bed until four. But we have made it to the expo. Uh, we are attempting to figure out how to get inside, and it looks like the door is right there, so let's go see what's going on inside. We made it to the show. Uh, we kind of just walked around and hung out during the couple hours that the VIP thing was open, just so we could, you know, walk around and actually look for animals. I really wanted a captive born uh, Asian water monitor or a red tiger Amazon tree boa, like I said yesterday, but unfortunately, there is none at the show. Uh, there is some wild caught ones, super cheap, only a hundred bucks. A couple of my buddies have picked up some animals already, and then I met up with Cusco, 
not sure what exactly he's doing. I know he's doing a lot of filming with Freedom Breeder. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna take you around some of the cool stuff that I've seen. No, we're gonna stop at Bob Clark and check out some pied Burmese pythons, and then uh, we'll start by checking out some of these really cool live planted enclosures. So enclosure-wise, I would definitely say this is probably my favorite one that I've seen so far. 600 bucks, but perfectly live planted. They've got all the drainage layers in there. Um, everything just looks absolutely great with it. It'd be super cool for like dart frogs or something like that. And um, I have my Amazon tree bow enclosure that is, you know, still set up. He's actually in there now, but I need to get a bunch of live plants to put in there. Uh, so I'll more than likely be coming back here. Or I think Josh's frogs is here as well, so I got to go over there and check them out. But I definitely need to pick up some plants while I'm here. So next up, we are going to check out Bob Clark. Uh, if you know reptiles, you know who he is. A legend in the reticulated python game as well as the Burmese python game. And uh, he has some pretty crazy stuff here that I definitely want to show you guys. So these snakes that I'm about to show you guys are $15,000 a piece. You guys were the first to produce them too, right? Uh, I think so. Got problems. It was a with somebody else. Okay. So that is this guy right here. So that is a pied Burmese python. So yeah, you guys can imagine how cool this guy would look when he was, you know, an adult and Bob Clark was, like I said, the first guy to produce these in a collab with someone else. But yeah, fifteen thousand dollars a piece for these guys. These guys right here are kind of cool. I didn't even know they existed, but this is a phantom pied. So it still has the pied gene, but it's a completely white snake. And if you look closely, they actually have red eyes. So that's really, really unique. I didn't even know these guys existed, but super cool that it's all white, but still has that pie gene inside of it. Bob Clark is definitely killing the game with these snakes. So next we're gonna go check out uh, what I think is two of the coolest animals that are here, and that is, excuse me, that is a pair of Bell's Phase lace monitors. Um, they're $4,500 a piece. I really think Forrest should buy them because I know he was looking for them. Um, I believe they are captive born and bred, so Super cool, beautiful animals. Uh, we gotta go over and check them out now. Okay, real quick, before we get to the Bell's Phase lace monitors who are right there, uh, I'm gonna show you guys these guys. These are little small Aldalba tortoises. They are so, so cute. And uh, if you guys have ever seen a full-grown Aldalba, these are uh, little teeny tiny baby guys compared to what they're going to get eventually. They do come at a pretty crazy price tag though. Uh, I think that pair is going for 9,000 you said, right? Yeah, so 9,000 for the pair, but I mean, they're gonna outlive you, your kids, and possibly your kids' kids, and get up to like 400 pounds. So, definitely a good investment. Unfortunately, I do not have the $9,000 to spend on them. So this is the guy that has the uh, three Bell's Face lace monitors. He has a baby and then two juveniles. Yeah. But there they are. Super, super cool. Uh, they're like one of my grail animals, I would say. A little bit jumpy. Are these guys captive born? They are. So yeah. captive born, Bell's Phase lace monitors. You guys can see just how beautiful they are. These guys get very big, cool little guys. And they're not even that flighty for as small as they are. I figured they'd be a little bit more flighty. But definitely amazing animals. So he has the two, um, I don't know, they're seven months old. So I don't even know what you would call that. Juvenile, maybe. And then he's got this little guy right here. Little tiny baby, super adorable, and again, that's another Bell's Phase lace monitor. So he's a uh, 4,500, and these guys are 4,500 as well. And then he's got some normal phase lace monitors as well, so you guys can see the difference. That's a normal phase, and then that's a Bell's Phase. So they have a lot more bold black, and the pattern on those guys is uh, super cool. They're just all around amazing animals. They get, like I said, six, seven feet long. Super, super cool. And again, this company is Saurian Farm. I'll throw the link to their social media if they have one or their website, something in the description. Moving on from those guys, uh, nothing quite as crazy, but we have Triple L here. You guys know I used to hang out with the Triple L guys all the time. This isn't the same crew that works in San Diego, so I'm assuming they have like a store here in Texas. Um, their booth is always packed, but I'll see if they have any cool animals I can show off to you guys. Well, I was about to film Triple L, but this guy has a little quail. Look how cute that guy is. Did you get him here? No, 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 no. Oh, you brought him? Got him from a breeder, yeah. Oh, so cool. He's so chill. Now at Triple L, they have little tiny baby emperors that are adorable. All kinds of different tarantulas. That's a Costa Rican striped knee right there. That's pretty cool. Some little toads, all kinds of stuff. And then as I can move over that way, you guys can see how many animals they have. They have a ton. So these guys are super cool. One of my favorite snakes that are inexpensive. It's an Asian green vine snake. And just their heads, I don't know. I've always loved them. Super cool, super slender bodied, but like watching them glide through trees and everything is really, really cool. And they're super inexpensive. This guy's what, 35 bucks? 34.99, look at that. I 
know my numbers. Now we are gonna check out some ball pythons at Wilbanks, captive bred reptiles. He has a very pretty display, so I'm assuming he has some awesome stuff. Or she, he or she. So I was definitely right in my assumption. Look at all of these snakes. I think this is probably the biggest booth here. There's so many ball pythons all in a row, and he has definitely got some cool stuff. Lucy's, that one is a Candino. Super pretty. I don't think I've ever even seen one of those in person. Definitely pretty. Moving down, some banana stuff. That guy is pretty cool. That's a fire clown. That guy right there is a powerhouse animal. That's a banana pastel enchi cream. Super cool. I love the dorsal stripe that goes down his back. This booth literally just goes on forever. They're all like really quality animals, not just basic stuff. Lots of leucistic stuff. Tons of banana, and I see he's got a lot of clown. That one's pretty cool. That's a banana spider het pied. So that's a pretty cool animal. Pair that to a banana pied and you could get some pretty cool stuff. Wow, that one's beautiful too. Super orange dream butter yellow belly. The yellows on him really, really pop. I'm not a huge ball python guy, but I can still appreciate them for what they are. I mean, they're all absolutely gorgeous. And like I said, this is Wilbanks Captive Bred Reptiles. Crazy stuff. I'm sure they have a website. It is pythonregius.com. That is the scientific name for a ball python. So, good website. You know, I thought I did a pretty good job um, building my cage, but then you come to Zoo Med's booth and uh, I think they might have me beat by just a little bit. I do really want to add one of those little steam falls, though. I think that would be super cool. And I want to do something exactly like that. So one really cool thing about all of the reptile shows is there's usually non-reptile animals as well. Uh, and this booth right here is the perfect example of that. These guys have owls as well as I think some sort of falcon, but they told me I could come over and film. Uh, so we're gonna check out some owls and they also have a yellow anaconda and some other cool stuff. So I'll show you guys all that too. But uh, I'm really here for the owls. Since I know essentially nothing about animals, I'm gonna have the expert here. What is your name? Mario. Mario is gonna tell you guys about these owls. So well, my name is Mario. I'm with uh, Nature's Edge Wildlife and Reptile Rescue. Um, we are state and federally permitted rehabbers. We work with birds of prey, small and medium mammals, reptiles, both native and exotic. What this is here is this is one of our barred owls. Um, this one actually came to us when it was about three days old. So we use him for education as well as continual rehab to see how he does in the future. We do a lot of education events, schools, corporate events, uh, reptile expos such as this. Uh, let's just get out not only um, the mission of our reptile rescue, but also our wildlife rescue as well. Bring awareness and help raise some funds for the rescue. So that was the bigger guy. He is super cool, and I just got a whole lesson in owl anatomy that would blow your guys' mind. It's kind of, I think it's gonna be hard for me to show, but I'll try in a second. But I wanna show you this guy. He's an eastern screech owl, and he is a little teeny tiny peanut. Small that guy is next to my hand. Where's my hand? He's literally like, I'd say smaller than my hand. Where he gets his name? is RC Cola and a Moon Pie. Because he's no yep. bigger than a soap. That is so cute. That guy is absolutely adorable and there's one more bird here that I want to show you guys real quick. This guy is an American Kestrel, the smallest in the falcon family and he's kind of trying to fly away on me. But look at, he's an adorable little tiny falcon. Super, super cute, super curious. You guys can see him, he's like kind of making a like a little chirpy noise trying to talk to me but at, ooh, no fly away, it's okay. Huge thank you to Nature's Edge Wildlife and Reptile Rescue. Like I said, they do uh, reptile rescue, birds of prey, things like that. I'll definitely link their Facebook, Instagram, anything they have down in the description of the video. Go check them out for sure. Um, absolutely awesome. And they have some animals for sale too, some reptiles that I'll show you guys real quick. So I think the, the favorite thing that they have, they don't have a, a ton of stuff for sale. They're more here for like the educational purpose, uh, but it's a captive born yellow anaconda, which is pretty badass. And as you guys saw, they had some uh, blood pythons, a boa, a couple bearded dragons. They also have a big sulcata tortoise, so they got a lot going on at this booth. So almost equally as cute as the owls. Uh, take a look at these guys. So many little baby sulcata tortoises, and this is Bland's Tortoise Ranch. I guess he produced the original ivory sulcata, the original ivory sulcata turtle, and now he has all of these adorable little babies. I should take one home. We are about to head into the auction, and just like I did with Pomona, I will film here too. We'll see if it gets kind of rowdy like Pomona does. I've heard it's kind of like hit or miss whether or not 
it actually gets kind of crazy. But walking in now, and uh, I'll show you guys what they have for auction, and then we'll see how it goes. Okay, so the auction was kind of quiet, uh, and then out of nowhere, people are throwing fucking gum everywhere at everyone and I'm really scared that I'm gonna get hit in the head with some bubble gum that's just flying around everywhere. Miguel has already bought like 45 things. But, uh... <laughs> Nobody is safe right now. There's gum flying everywhere. It's very scary. I just tried to hit Cusco in the face and hit a lady in the eyeball, but I think she forgives me. Oh, we got we got shut down. No more gum. All right, here we go. Second highest item of the night. Female, super gravel, python maybe, $2,600. Let's see how much it goes for. Starting at 100. I think Miguel's gonna take this one home. 900 right there, 1,000 over here, 1,100, 1,200. Look over 13. 13 over there, 14 over there, 15. 1,500, 1,500, 1,500 right here, Jimmy. Look over 1,600. 1,600, guys. It's a $2,600 show price. Look over 1,600 once. 16 Brizzy, look over 1700. Jimmy, 1700, look over 1800. 2100. Once, twice, sold Brizzy, 2000. There you go, $2,600 snake just went for 2000 bucks. Don't need like Save no 600 one. bucks. Can't complain. Uh, also, the gum is still flying. Now there's like little gummy things that are flying. Chicken. Gummy chicken. Uh, retail price on that is probably about a dollar. All right, so I think this is going to be a big one. It's a hand crocheted baby Yoda of one of one that someone made that I don't know why there's so much hype behind it, but everybody wants this baby Yoda. 2,000! 2,000! 2,000! Hey, Miguel, let some other people have some fun and we'll get there. We'll get there. I'll, you just keep your hand down. <laughs> they won't even. They won't even let Miguel bid two thousand bucks. Miguel just tried to buy it. I have Mike twelve. I have thirteen. Josh fourteen. Mike fifteen. Josh sixteen. Miguel seventeen hundred. The madness of the auction. Two thousand. Miguel and twenty one hundred. Twenty one hundred going once. I would love someone to just crush. Twenty one hundred going twice. You got it, Miguel. I need twenty two hundred dollars. Oh god, twenty two hundred from Miguel. Hang on, hang on, hang on a second. For that Yoda. I know you thought you were just bidding on Yoda, but we broke the threshold. Now you get a fried pie too. And a dirty penis. So not only do you get the hand crochet Yoda by Heidi Dunlap. You get a dirty penis in your pie. Dirty penis makes it worth at least five grand. Cusco with a $2,200 bid. I need $2,300. $2,300, Miguel. I need $2,400. $2,400 for me. Oh, you gave it up. I need $2,500. I have $2,500, Miguel. I need $2,600. $2,600 going once. $2,600 going twice. $2,500 for a baby Yoda and a dirty penis pie. I got it. Oh. I'm sure. There's my thumbnail. I've never been pegged so much in my life. You've but never been pegged so much in your life, huh? Well, not like that. You fucking lying. I can hang over all these motherfuckers. Okay. Well, I don't care how You're how the target. I'm collateral damage. damage. <laughs> Bro, I've been getting smacked like... <laughs> really sad. Oh, that was right in the forehead. I don't even know you. I'm getting you. me. All right, 30 seconds, people. All right. Bradley, Bradley just beat my ass, which I assumed he would. And if he beats Andy's ass, then I know I can beat Andy's ass any day. I won run, run, round one with Andy, guaranteed off of that. Uh, definitely did not win. <laughs> round two, tonight. Hope you enjoyed that video. Sorry, didn't film an outro. Uh, I didn't film the second day either. I'm sorry, I just, 
I wasn't really feeling the best. I've kind of been feeling crappy for a little while now. But I really hope you guys enjoyed. I should have done a better job filming more animals. I'm sorry I didn't. Comment down below and tell me that I don't suck and that you enjoyed the video. Again, all of the money raised from this video or the money that I make on this video is going directly to Matthew LaRosa's mom. The very first link in the description will be her PayPal email address. You just have to like type that into PayPal and like I said, even a dollar will help more than you guys know. And then any money I make, I'm just gonna PayPal it directly to them. Um, Matt will be able to verify that, I guess. But I really do hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, let's please try to get this video to as many people as we can uh, just to raise some money. I, th I think it would be really, really awesome if this video does crazy well to help them out. On that note, uh, please like, comment, subscribe, do all the things that you would normally do. I've got more videos that I need to edit uh, to show you guys, so I'll definitely have some more consistent content coming out soon for you guys. Turn on the bell, do all the things, tell me about your day, tell me about you, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.